one now do you guys know that some of the devices or gadgets which do not have gps hardware inbuilt can also get the locations now for example uh, this laptops or most of the laptops do not have gps hardware inbuilt but still we can get the locations on our browser Another example is our ESP8266 modules which are Wi-Fi based modules which does not have GPS modules inbuilt or GPS hardware inbuilt but still we can get their locations without using any additional hardware like GPS module or so. So wondering how this all works or how this is possible, watch this video till the end and I will let you know all the science, all the logic behind this and in the next video I will also let you know how this all works by making one practical project. So stay tuned with this video and you will get all your answers. So let's get started. So the science behind this is geolocation. Now in this video I will particularly talk about the geolocation service provided by Google. There are many other services uh, or many other service providers which uh, uh, gives us the free data of our location based on our IP addresses. But uh, how Google does this or how Google manages uh, all this uh, I will let you know in this video. So first of all talking about the Android phones which are owned by Google. Now what Google does is that generally uh, most of the phones have GPS and Wi-Fi enabled all the time. So <clears throat> Google not only tracks our location but it also tracks the nearby Wi-Fi networks. For example uh, if we are walking through a street and have our Wi-Fi and GPS is enabled so our phone is constantly scanning the nearby Wi-Fi networks and what Google does Google saves the MAC addresses and the name of this Wi-Fi networks along with the location of our phone so based upon the signal strength received by the phone Google estimates the location of that particular Wi-Fi network and it saves that data into that database so next time if any person is uh, going through that same Wi-Fi networks and does not have GPS enabled in their phone, he can still get the location of the phone based on the location of that particular Wi-Fi network. Okay, it's a little bit uh, confusing, but I will clear all your confusion with this animation video. So let's see it in animation. Suppose there is a person X surrounded by three Wi-Fi routers A, B and C. So person X has a smartphone with Wi-Fi, GPS and internet connection enabled on the phone. So as Android is owned by Google, what Google does is that our phone will scan the SSID name, MAC addresses and the received signal strength of all the routers A, B and C and will estimate their location based upon the location of our phone and the received signal strength and save this much data on their database. So now Google knows the approximate location of all the routers A, B and C. Now a person Y comes into picture which has a phone with only Wi-Fi and internet connection enabled and no GPS. If that person wants to know this location then what he will do, he will just scan the nearby Wi-Fi networks and send their details to Google server. Now Google already knows the location of that routers. Hence, it can easily estimate or detect the approximate location of person Y. So more the number of networks nearby, more precise will be the location tracked. So this is how the geolocation by Google works. So this was the magic of geolocation by Google. Uh, now I hope you got basic idea, basic knowledge about how this all works. Now if this video really helped you out, give a big thumbs up and let me know. Uh, in my next video, I'll be coming up with one project using this same geolocation topic and uh, with that project, uh, <clears throat> you will be able to feel how this geolocation actually works. So subscribe my channel to get notified for that upcoming project. Till then, explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.